Welcome back everybody to another DZ Collects video. So in the last video I did say that I had another box of Bowman's Best that I was going to consider opening. We're going to open it. Because why not? It's fun. It's good channel content. These are selling for more than I bought it for so I could have sold it but I love the product. The cards are cool. Might as well open it. So, if you're not familiar or you didn't see my other video, there are too many boxes inside of the master box of Bowman's Best. So, you are guaranteed, well, you're not guaranteed, but it features usually on average of two chrome autographs per mini box. When I opened my first box, I had four autographs in my first box, none in the second box. So it is not guaranteed, and that is a caveat I would like to point out. If you some shops sell mini boxes separately, instead of spending 300 for the whole box, they might price it out so you can buy a one mini box for 160. I wouldn't do it just because I got four in one box, which is good if you get the one with four. But if you get a pay 160 and you get a box with zero autos, I don't know. We'll see, but I would recommend if you're going to buy, either buy the whole thing or just look for the cards you want specifically. So let's see. Two chrome autographs per mini box. Um, are the odds on the, yep, the odds are on the side. So if you like to read the odds, you can pause the video and read them here. Without further ado, we're going to get into it. Forget how many packs each box has, but we will find that out in a second. I've already opened it up. Oh, it tells you on the side here. Six packs per mini box and five cards per pack. Plenty of inserts, plenty of parallels that you could possibly get. So we're hoping for some good numbered parallels. Obviously, you want the big auto hits, but if you didn't see my first video, I would recommend going back to watch it. I hit a big base parallel auto of a prospect. If you would like to see that, I would recommend watching that video. Hoping we have some good luck like that on this video. If not, oh well, but you never know. Without further ado, we are going to get into it with pack number one, Bowman's Best. We have Brian Hayes for the Pittsburgh Pirates. A Bryce Harper base. Well, I guess they're the, that's the base. Freddie Freeman. We have a Jace Young Prospective Royalty and a Jackson Holiday base. So you love to see that. We're going to get some sleeves going here. Sleeve up the royalty for now. We'll start a couple piles. Prospects, rookies, base cards. We'll sleeve up the Jackson Holiday. And we are on to pack two. So good start. First pack, we hit a Jackson Holiday card. In the next pack, we have Hunter Green. Looks like we have an Atomic Refractor coming up, too. We have Gavin Sheets, rookie for the White Sox. Try to keep rookies in a pile. We have Matt Olson, Corey Seager, and the Atomic is Jordan Alvarez. That is a cool-looking Atomic Refractor of Jordan Alvarez. We will sleeve him up. Put him in his own little pile down here for now. Alright, couple packs in. On box number one. Alright, I think we have our first auto. There's Tyler McGill rookie. A CJ Abrams rookie card. Oh, a Jeremy Pena UFO rookie. Definitely going to sleeve that up real quick. I'm just going to take the rest of these out of the bag. Jeremy Pena, UFO, rookie insert. The UFO cards are so cool looking. I'm going to go ahead and get him on the stand for now. I guess we should probably put Holiday up there too for now, you know. Oh, lighting, getting them. So our other cards are we have a Juan Yepes rookie, 
a CJ Abrams rookie. And our first auto is going to be Yason Morabell for the Texas Rangers. So not familiar with him. Probably should be, but I am not. He will go on the stand for now since it is an auto. Three packs to go in this box, so we're hoping to keep the hits coming. Some good cards already. I like the Pena. We have a Shane Boz rookie card. Marcelo Meyer prospect card right there. Samuel Munoz prospect. A Colton Cowser prospective royalty. And a Manny Machado base for the Padres. So, some decent cards in that pack, but we're waiting on some parallels, some big hits. See what we can get here. All right. We have Henry Davis, base card for Pittsburgh. We have a Tamar Johnson, which I believe is another base. Fernando Tatis. We have an Air Spencer Torkelson rookie and a Brian Acuna base. So we'll sleeve some of these up real quick. Brian Acuna, good prospect for the Twins. Torkelson, obviously a good rookie. I like the inserts they have, like the elements and stuff. Really cool in my opinion. Jamar Johnson needs to get sleeved up real quick too. So we're hitting some good prospects. It'd be nice if we could get some in parallels, but we will take it for now. Last pack of this box should have an auto in it. You never know. Uh, looks like it will. So we have Anthony Rizzo, first card for the Yankees. We have an MJ Melendez rookie, which I which I like. <gasps> No shot. A Jackson Holiday wave out of 199. So that is an aqua lava refractor of Jackson Holiday. That is a huge hit right there. Jackson Holiday lava wave out of 199. Card looks pretty good. Don't see any major flaws, but I'll check it later. That is definitely going on the stand. That's probably the, the best hit we've got so far. But we also have an auto in this pack, so let's catch a heater. We've got Anthony Gutierrez for Texas. We've got the MJ Melendez. And our second auto in this box is Henry Mendez from the Brewers. It is a base auto. Henry Mendez from the Brewers. So Jackson Holiday coming through with the fire right there. You love to see it. I'm going to sleeve up Melendez just because I am high on MJ Melendez. I think he's going to have a good career. So let's get that second box open. One box down. The Jackson Holiday, the Jeremy Pena UFO, the base Holiday. We got some good prospect base cards in there, some good rookies. Still hoping for some Julio or Wander, but. You hit a Jackson Holiday Lava Wave Refractor, and I don't think you're allowed to complain about what was in the rest of that box. So we're going on to box number two. Let's hope we can have some bangers just like that box. First one, I said we need more rookies. Spencer Torkelson rookie. Put him in the rookie pile to sleeve up in a minute. We have a Chris Bryant from Colorado. A Masterpiece Bowman Masterpieces, Elijah Green, Washington Nationals prospect. That's a cool looking card. I like those inserts. I like the look of that card. That's super cool. I'm gonna sleeve that up. We've got a uh, we've got a Luis Angel Acuna for the Texas Rangers, prospective royalty, and a Ryan Mountcastle base. We will sleeve up the torque real quick. All right, next pack. I'm liking what we saw out of that first pack right there. A couple good prospects, a couple rookies. Jaron Duran rookie right there. Shohei Otani, always like Shohei Otani cards. Not going to complain about that. We have a George Kirby rookie for the Mariners. 
we have an insert coming. A Jake Berger rookie for the White Sox. And our insert is Global Impact Spencer Torkelson. So that's a cool insert. Fumbled it almost. That's really cool looking card. So Spencer Torkelson featuring prominently so far in box number two. I like the Global Impacts. They just look really cool in my opinion. So we're going to put that over here. Third pack. Still Julio hunting. Still Wander hunting. We still have both our autos to come. I would imagine one's coming up soon. Looks like this pack. So we have a Bo Bichette. Oh, there we go. Oscar Colas base card. A UFO Jordan Lawler, which is a very cool looking insert. Jordan Lawler UFO. You love to see that. We sleeve it up. We have a Jeremy Pena rookie card. That looks to be... It doesn't say refractor, but it looks to be a, it looks like a refractor. I don't know which ones are and which ones aren't, but there you go. The Oscar Colas, which will get sleeved, and the first auto in this box is an Anthony Gutierrez for the Texas Rangers. So Aaron Gutierrez base auto for the Texas Rangers. Go ahead and sleeve him up. For now, I think he will replace the other auto. I know it's probably not, I don't know how much the Pena is worth. I just love that card. So we're gonna leave Pena on the stand. But then we have the Oscar Colas card. Prospect for the White Sox, very high on him. You love to see it. Three packs to go, one auto left. Hopefully at least one numbered parallel, at least. Couple prospective royalties in a row. So we have a Jace Young prospect card. You love to see that. One of these is going to be an Atomic Perspective Royalty. Hoping for a big name there. We have Yassir Mercedes. We have a Perspective Royalty Atomic Refractor of George Valera from the Cleveland Guardians. That is a very sweet looking card with the Atomic Refractor. You love to see it. And then the last two cards of this box are Jackson Churio of Milwaukee and Big Meat Pete, Pete Alonzo. So we love Churio. Sleeve him up. We will sleeve up Yasir Mercedes and Jace Young as well. And I'm going to run out of sleeves in the middle of this video because I'm sleeving everything out here. We'll go on to the next pack. I've got more on standby if need be. Two packs to go. Let's pull something big. We got Elijah Green base. We have Josh Lowe for Tampa Bay. It's the rookie card. We have Jose Miranda rookie. We have a C.J. Abrams water refract or water insert that's really cool. You love to see that. Sleeve that up, and there we go, Julio Rodriguez. There you go, the Julio Rodriguez base. So we did get. It looks like the refractor, but I don't know what the difference is. So that's pretty cool. Card looks good. I will go and grab these other sleeves real quick. I apologize. Gotta come prepared. I didn't realize I was gonna use a gazillion sleeves, but that just means we're getting good cards. So, all right. With one pack to go, we'll sleeve up the Julio. I'll work on the rest of those after this video. Last pack, one more auto. We want a big one. We would like a numbered parallel out of here too, if possible. But you never know. Looks like the auto might be an atomic refractor. That would be huge. So we have a Salvador Perez. We have a Javier Baez. We have a Samuel Munoz. That appears to be a green out of 99. So Samuel Munoz prospect for the Dodgers. Parallel out of 99. 
It's a little thicker than the standard card. We have a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. There's the Javier Baez. And our final auto is Jace Young Atomic Refractor out of 25. A best of 22 autograph, Jace Young from the Tigers out of 25 autograph Atomic. That is a nasty card. Look at that. Card looks insane right there. Jace Young out of 25. What a banger to go out on right there. Unbelievable. You get the Jackson Holiday Lava Refractor out of 199. The Jace Young Auto out of 25. We got Pena UFO, Julio Base, a Jackson, some good prospects and rookies. Ah, oh, man, that is a fire box. We'll take the base holiday down for now. But what an insane box. I'm glad I opened it up. That was a lot of fun. Let me know down below, what was your favorite hit of this box? What do you think of Bowman's Best? I think it's a great product. It is expensive, but it's got a crazy good rookie checklist, a great prospect checklist. The autograph checklist is amazing. They've got really good inserts. Overall, very fun rip. Let me know what you think down below. Keep uh, watching the video. Stay subscribed. I'm going to keep pumping out the content this week. Hopefully tomorrow on Wednesday we have... Bowman Heritage coming out, which is like a long fabled product that I want to open. They didn't come out. It didn't come out last year. It's online only. But if it comes out, I'm going to scoop some up. And we got a bunch of cool products coming out in the future. I'm going to keep buying and ripping. So subscribe. And until next time, take it easy.